In this video, we'll do an example in which we'll learn how to solve for Hicks in demand function of the consumer. Basically, we'll be solving the expenditure minimization problem of the consumer for every value of price of X, price of Y, and the satisfaction level mu. So here is the problem. Suppose the utility function is given by uxy equals x times y and we want to minimize the expenditure subject to attaining at least mu level of satisfaction. So here is the expenditure minimization problem. So again we are going to just plot the constraint first. Okay. Notice that the constraint is going to look like this. This is the IC corresponding to mu level of satisfaction and this is set of all points or set of all bundles that gives the individual at least mu level of satisfaction. Now what we're going to do is we're going to plot ISO expenditure curves and we're going to pick point in this region that minimizes the expenditure. Okay, That corresponds to the lowest possible ISO expenditure curve that passes through this region. Okay, so let's do it. This is one, uh, one example of an ISO expenditure curve. Okay, And the slope of this ISO expenditure curve is Px by Py. Now clearly this cannot be the solution to the expenditure minimization problem because there is a lot of scope to reduce the expenditure if the if individual moves in this direction right so let's make another iso expenditure curve here now this seems to give us a solution here right okay. so the, the the solution again will have this property that the slope of the ISO expenditure curve is equal to the slope of the indifference curve. So we know that the solution to this problem satisfies the following two properties. Property number one, that the slope of the ISO expenditure curve, which is Px by Py, is equal to the slope of the indifference curve, which is MRS, and that's y by x in this case. Okay. Another property is this, that this point lies on the indifference curve corresponding to mu level of satisfaction. So x, y equals to mu. Now we have two equations, two unknowns, and we can solve for x and y. So this is the Hicks in demand function for y, and this is the Hicks in demand function for x. Okay. Thank you.